In honor of the occasion, may I introduce our master of ceremonies? Presenting the good composer, Horatio Thelonious Iglesias Croatius Sebastian. Morning, Thea. So, what have you in store for us today, Sebastian? I got a special song just for the occasion. And it's gonna be performed by none other than your seven lovely daughters. I wrote this little number for my star pupil. Oh, and who might that be? Your youngest, Ariel. Such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice, peach as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such a magnificent sound since. Oh. Well. Her Royal Highness, may she rest in peace. You're gonna be a proud father, you see. If only she should up for herself once in a while. Let the merriment begin! How we are the daughters who cry on Great father who loves us and named us well A quarter and Trina Arista, Tina, Adela, Alana and Ariel Concert we hope to enlighten the hearts of the merfolk with music swell of water and Rena, Arista, Tina. Sister of yours gone. Apologies, sire, but that girl, you're gonna be the death of me. So you mean she should be singing? If I had that solo, this would never have happened. That girl's angling for trouble. I say give her the hook. Daddy, you let Errol get away with get away with everything. Now, now, I love all my daughters equally. Oh please, that answers a can of tuna and twice as oily. Arista's prettier than Ariel, and Trina's smarter, Alana's sweeter, Atina's older. And Adela, let's face it, Daddy, you're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get. Hey, what do you got that Ariel doesn't? Naked ambition and willingness to kill. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. Honestly, Sebastian, one son, was that too much to hope for? Well, look what the catfish dragged in. Daddy, forgive me, I'm so sorry. Ariel, young lady. I just forgot, that's all. As a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless. Behavior. The entire celebration was ruined, completely destroyed. This concert is going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian. Now thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of the old kingdom. We, we gave up a day with, with the a whale, whale of a guy. guy. I don't sing back up for anybody. Mama loved me best, but she's gone now. Do you mind? Ariel, you've been given such a gift. I know, my mother's voice. Your mother would have been so proud. I know. I will, Daddy, I promise. It wasn't even Ariel's fault. That know-it-all seagull kept going on and on and on and... Seagull? Did you just say seagull? That means you went up to the surface again, didn't you? Nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. One of those humans. Daddy, they're not barbarians. Traps and harpoons. They're dangerous. Like it or not, Ariel, you're my youngest. My baby. So I worry about you the most. But I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you'll obey my rules. If you just listen to me for once. That's the last time you'll ever swim to the surface again, understood? You're so unfair. Ah! Heaven help me. Headstrong, willful, stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, got my knees and they swim all over you. Now, now, sire. It's difficult, sure. But you got to toughen up. Not melt down. For Ariel's sake, I'm telling ya, that girl needs constant supervision. Someone who can 
watch over her and keep her out of trouble. No, that's not a bad idea. Someone to safeguard her every move. Her every dog paddle. Her every side stroke. Her every dive. And you're just the crab to do it. What? That's right, Sebastian. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. Mine? But, Your Majesty, she's a clever mermaid. And I'm the crustacean. Surely you are the bee, because I'm an iron on the evolutionary skin. <laughs> You get trouble in the mind? Sebastian! What is all this? Ah, uh, just a few knickknacks I've collected. That's all. You ought to be ashamed of yourself! Your poor father knew about the place he... You're not gonna tell him, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian, he never understand! Listen to me, Ariel. For my sake, as a well as your own, it's time you kept your mind on your music. From now on, you'll have voice lessons every day. And perhaps you could pick up an instrument. Something... Ladylike. It's a harp, maybe. A ship. Why, sure. A nice harp. Made out of three wooden decorated with the mother of pearls. Ariel? Hello? Somewhere out on air, that girl spins to the floor. Ariel! Ariel, oh, Ariel. That sister of yours is as slippery as an eel. Where did she swim off to now? I had to find her for her daddy goes looking. Good luck. She's in La La Land. Ariel has fallen head over tails in love. In love? Adian? Come on, Flounder. Who's the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. I didn't even know it was love until the second course. But you know her better than any of us. You, you follow, follow her, her everywhere. everywhere. Not anymore. Not since she started chasing humans. Humans? I hope and pray I didn't just say humans. Oh, no. And... This new love of hers. Don't tell me. Then don't ask me. He's one of them? A real human? The two like a kind? Daddy's gonna be ripped. Dating outsider species? Thanks, Flander. You're regular angelfish. Uh, Wait, what? Is that is that a fire? Fire? What a lot around it, child, but you still lot to play with fire. Child, there you are. A human? You. Fell in love with a human? I didn't choose it, it just happened. Oh, child. I thought maybe, just maybe, you'd be happy for me. Happy for you? Because you've gone plumb crazy now? Child, you ought to get your head out of the clouds and back in the water where it belongs. But I don't belong here. I never did as hard as I tried, don't fit in. I just wish I could be up there, walking on the very same ground as he is, breathing the very same air. Down here is your home. The human world, it's a mess. Life better to see is better than anything they got up there! You're wrong, I swear! Believe me, child, it's true. The seaweed is always green, and somebody else sees me. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such a wonderful thing.
Sebastian. Where? You just missed her, sire. She, she slipped away. To think she turned her back on her own kind, that she betrayed her own family. She can't help it, sire. I don't understand. I taught her myself, and now she makes a mockery of everything we hold dear. Where is she hiding? She keeps secrets from me, Sebastian, but not from you. I'll wager you know exactly where she is. Take me to her now. And now for the grand finale. La pied there is stunt. I don't see by golly. No fine restaurant. I keep it to tease your taste out to certain. Bon
to get back. It's my birthday tomorrow. And Grimsby and I are hosting a contest. Grimsby says I have to be married by sunset or else. Post busy, but right in. I pray you keep calm. Where is she? Where is Ariel? She'd be so angry if she knew I was here. I entrust my youngest daughter to you, and what happens? I want to have you cracked. I want to have you shelled. He almost was, Your Greatness. You want to be ashamed of yourself, too. What kind of tragedy will it take? A tragedy involving the sewage, to be exact. What did you just say? These two eels came and took her straight to Ursula. And then she traded her voice for a pair of legs. And if the prince doesn't kiss her... She bartered away her voice to become human? My son said to mother that child could be giving up her very soul! Her soul? And not to that wicked sister of yours! That's it. It's time I settle things with that wicked sea sister of mine once and for all. Thank you.